Through this video, we will learn how to apply the Winder application with IS7. The Winder is applied with a tension control system that releases or winds web materials, such as steel, paper, film, and fabric, while maintaining a certain tension. Let's look at the composition of the Winder. Unwinder releases the ingredients. Winder winds up the ingredients. And there is a master part that is the standard for the speed of winder and unwinder. Use road cells or dancers devices to maintain the tension of the material and receive feedback. In order to apply IS7 to the winder, we will assume and proceed as follows in this video. The order of the startup operation of the Winder application is as follows. After completing the equipment setup through the inverter connection, the control state is checked by each inverter solo driving. After that, check the synchronization of the speed through inverter linked operation, adjust the offset and gain for the speed command, speed output, and speed input signal, and signal offset and gain for the dancer or load cell. And the PID control reactivity is checked through the overall system operation and the system is optimized through gain tuning. Basically, after completing the inverter power connection, signal and encoder connection are performed. The inverter of the master unit controls V by F, so the encoder is not used. The inverter applied to the winder and unwinder requires encoder connection because it controls vectors. The master controls entire line speed. Connect the master's output frequency value by the input of the speed command on the rewinder side to match the speed synchronization between the master and the rewinder. In order to keep the tension of the rewinder constant, it is wired so that you can get tension feedback from the dancer or road cell. Once the inverter connection is complete, independent speed control is performed on the master and rewinders to determine whether the operation is abnormal. Set command source and frequency source to keypad. In the case of rewinders, set parameters related to the encoder and speed controller required for vector control. In order to align the rotation direction of the motor, both the master and rewinder inverters are set to V by F control mode and the operation signal is applied. Check the rotation direction of the motor and if it is the opposite direction, change two of the three phases of the motor to connect. To check the direction of the encoder, set the rewinder inverter to vector control mode and apply the operation command to check whether it is operating normally. In case of abnormal operation, the encoder is connected by changing phases A and B of the encoder, or A plus B is changed for the inverter APO number 5 encoder pulse selection to minus A plus B to match the direction of the encoder. If there is no abnormality in solo driving, operate in conjunction with master and rewinder inverters. Give the master a speed command and apply the master's speed output to the rewinder's speed command. Signal matching and adjustment between master and rewinders are required. Specific signal adjustment is carried out in the next section, and approximate speed linkage exercise is carried out in this section. For example, if the master's speed command is 5 volts, the master will drive 30 Hz. If you check that 5 volts is output from the master A01 terminal, 5 volts is input to the rewinder V1 terminal, so the rewinder must be operated at 30 Hz. Since no specific signal adjustment has been made, there may be fluctuations in 5 volts and 30 Hz. Please note that even if the same speed command is applied, 
the rotation speed of the master and rewinder rolls may vary depending on the gear ratio and the size of the roll. The offset and gain of the signal must be adjusted to control the speed between master and rewinder. Offset and gain adjustments of tension feedback sensors required for rewinder web PID control are required. Monitor the input status of each signal on the inverter parameter to see if the exact value comes in. Adjust the offset so that the monitoring value is 0 volts when the analog input is the lowest, and adjust the gain so that the monitoring value is 10 volts when the analog input is the highest. When signal adjustment for line speed is completed, signal adjustment for tension is required. Signals for tension are received as analog inputs from dancers or road cells. In this video, we will learn how to adjust the signal in the dancer. If the dancer's output range is 4 to 20 milliamperes, the actual system is equipped with a limiter to set it to a range of 6 to 18 milliamperes due to the dancer's variation range limit. For easy operation, the inverter is set to 0% when receiving 6 milliamperes input and 100% when 18 milliamperes. Adjust the offset to 0% when the dancer is placed at the bottom and adjust the gain to 100% when the dancer is placed at the top. If the dancer's output is opposite, select APP group number 31, PID out inversion, which is the PID output inversion function setting. Only Rewinder performs web control for trial operation. Set the main speed source of APP group number five to keypad and enable web PID control. In order to check only the reactivity of web PID, the diameter calculation function and the disconnection detection function are deactivated and then the test is conducted. If the disconnection detection function is not disabled, a warning message will be issued because there is no load at this stage. PID-related parameters must be set to optimize the reactivity of web PID. Check whether the inverter output speed is changed, reactivity, etc., while manually changing the dancer's position. You can check it by monitoring PID instructions, feedback, and output. Change the PID gain to improve reactivity. In general, if the inertia is high or the gear ratio is high, a large control gain is required, so please refer to it. To check whether the PID is operating, set the rewinder's inverter speed command to 50% and place the dancer at the lowest level. After confirming that the driving speed is accelerating, place the dancer at the highest level to see if the driving speed is slowing down. Align the dancer's position the same as the PID reference setting and make sure the speed is constant. After that, check the PID reactivity and set the gain value. Check the variable response when the speed changes. Change the dancer's position based on the PID reference. Adjust the PID gain by looking at the degree of change in the PID output value. Next, test is conducted to set the web function. Tests including calculating and setting the maximum motor speed, setting the diameter, setting the PID parameter, and tuning the PID gain. In the rewinding operation, the motor speed is the fastest when the bobbin is empty, 
This speed must be calculated and set. In order to calculate the maximum motor speed, you need to know the maximum line speed, gear ratio, and minimum diameter. The calculation equation is as follows. The theoretical maximum speed may differ from the actual line speed due to errors in the gear ratio and mechanical tolerances. So, we measure the actual speed with a tachometer to check the exact minimum speed. Set the parameter related to the maximum speed of the motor. When 100% of the speed command is applied to the main speed set of APP group number 4, check that the maximum speed is 200 MPM. If the speed command is not 200 MPM, check mechanical matters such as gear ratio again. Please note that there are many cases where the line speed is not correct due to misunderstanding of the gear ratio at the actual site. The rotational speed of the motor varies depending on the diameter. So, if the bobbin has been replaced, the diameter should be initialized through a signal. When using various bobbins, it is necessary to give a signal to check which bobbin is installed. Up to four types of bobbins can be set. Enter the diameter size of the bobbin on a full diameter basis. For example, if the diameter of the bobbin is 1000 mm and the diameter size of the bobbin is 200 mm, the bobbin size can be set to 20%. During the trial operation, the P gain for the dancer's reactivity was determined, and the PID output value was set appropriately. Next, PID precise tuning is performed. As the size of the bobbin increases, the weight and inertia of the winder increase, so the characteristics of the system change. Changes in the characteristics of the system can lead to hunting by the tension feedback sensor. Therefore, it is necessary to change the PID gain. If you set the gain when the bobbin is at its maximum, it works normally in most areas. However, please note that the PID I gain and P profiler functions have not been changed. APP group number 54 fixed PID enable is used when the web PID is less responsive than the main speed. APP group 55 minimum fixed PID is good to use when the motor cannot keep up with the speed of the system due to the small amount of PID at low speed when using proportional PID. However, if the value is set too large, too much compensation will cause the dancer to fall. The following features can be used to achieve better performance in the winder application. The web brake function is for the inverter to detect and protect materials when they are cut while driving. When the material is cut in the interlocking system, the load is generally reduced. The inverter checks this and generates a trip to protect the equipment. You can disable this function in the preparatory operation stage and enable this function in the actual web operation stage. The reverse tension enable function is used in systems without mechanical brakes. When the winder stops, the material stretches and tension feedback decreases. If you drive again in this state, it will be difficult to find tension instructions and cause defects in the product. It is a function that allows the motor to rotate backward by PID output to make the stretching normal. Smooth control is possible because it starts while holding tension. The web quick stop function is to stop the system in emergency situations, such as accidents. In situations where the motor speed changes according to the diameter, it will decelerate based on the current speed. To protect the load in the interlocking system, all rolls must stop at the same time, so this function can be used to protect the equipment. The P profiler function compensates for the increased inertia by changing the P gain when the weight and inertia of the bobbin increase as the diameter increases in the rewinder. The amount of compensation varies depending on the material and characteristics. 
So you can set and use the value through operation. When the tension command is given constant, as the roll increases, the stress is combined in the direction of the bobbin center and the actual tension increases. Tension must be compensated as much as the value corresponding to mechanical stress, and the function of compensating for this tension is called the taper function. Failure to compensate may result in a narrower width of the material as the diameter increases. The amount of compensation varies depending on the material and characteristics of the material, so the value is set through operation. The splice function will replace bobbin with a new one when rewinder's winding is completed and will be used to automatically replace it to improve work efficiency. As the diameter increases, the motor speed gradually decreases due to the diameter operation. And if the bobbin is automatically replaced in this state, the empty roll is sagging. To avoid this phenomenon, speed up by the splice level to prevent sagging. When the multifunction input terminal set to splice is turned on to be replaced without a change in speed, the output of the web PID controller is blocked. The final speed command of the inverter is determined by an equation that combines the frequency command and the APP number 93 splice level. We learned about the winder application. Thank you.